What's up, you freaking geniuses? So in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to identify some common pairs of angles, right? So as you can see here, we have complementary angles, supplementary, adjacent, linear pairs, and vertical angles, also sometimes called vertically opposite angles, right? So you're probably familiar with complementary and supplementary already, but I'll quickly go over them here. So complementary are just two angles that add up to 90 degrees. So then here we can say that angle A plus angle B is equal to 90 degrees, okay? Now here we have supplementary angles, okay? So these are two angles that when you add them up, they add up to 180 degrees, okay? So here we could say angle C plus angle D is equal to 180 degrees. Okay, now let's go to adjacent angles, All right? So adjacent angles are just angles that share a common vertex and a common side, okay? So they're basically angles that are next to each other, okay? So if we look at this right here, you can see that they all share this common vertex right here, right? So here we can say that this angle right here, angle E and angle F are adjacent angles because again, they share this common vertex and they share this common side right here, okay? So they're just angles that are next to each other, okay? We can also say that angle F and angle G are adjacent angles because again, they share this vertex and they share this common side, right? But angle E and angle G are not adjacent angles because yes, they do share this common vertex, but they don't have a side in common, right? To get from angle E to angle G, you'd basically have to skip over F, right? So they're not next to each other, right? So remember, adjacent angles are just angles that are next to each other. Okay, and to just make something clear. Let's say we had these two angles right here. Okay, and let's just say this is angle X and this is angle Y, okay? Are these adjacent angles? No, they're not, right? Because I mean, I guess they're technically next to each other, but as you can see, they have completely different vertexes, right? So these are just two completely different angles, right? So that's one key point. They have to have the same vertex right there. Now, linear pairs. So linear pairs are just adjacent angles, right? They're angles that are next to each other that are supplementary, or in other words, they add up to 180 degrees, okay? So these two angles right here, angle J and angle K are linear pairs because as you can see, they're next to each other, right? And they add up to 180 degrees, okay? So again, if I had something like this right here, right there, okay, that's good enough. So say this is J and this is K, are these linear pairs right here? No, they're not, okay? Because even if they do add up to 180 degrees, as you can see, they're not adjacent, right? Because again, they have different vertexes here. Okay, now let's talk about vertical angles. So again, sometimes they're called vertically opposite angles, but really the easiest way to remember them is just by calling them opposite angles, okay? They're created by the same two intersecting lines. So opposite angles in this case would be, so L and N would be opposite angles. The other thing that happens here is that these two angles are equal to each other, okay? Or in other words, they're congruent. So this angle is congruent to this angle, okay? They are the exact same angle. And then that happens with this other opposite pair over here, P and M. So this angle right here is congruent to this angle right here, okay? They're equal to each other. All right, so now that you have kind of an idea of what each of these are, let's just go over a couple examples to really tie it all together. All right, here's our first problem. And these are the two figures that we're going to be referring to, all right? So first one says, name a pair of adjacent complementary angles. All right, so remember, adjacent means next to, complementary means they add up to 90 degrees, all right? So two angles that are next to each other that add up to 90 degrees. All right, so it looks like, uh, not these two, right? But it looks like this one right here, 56 plus 34. So 56 plus 34 is equal to 90, okay? So we know that this right here is a right angle also, okay? Because these two angles, LSM and MSN add up to 90 degrees. Okay, so a pair of adjacent complementary angles, again, would be these two right here, right? LSM, all right, let's write that down. Angle LSM and angle, let's see, the other one is angle MSN, right? Angle MSN, all right? So these are two adjacent complementary angles. All right, now next one says, name a pair of adjacent supplementary angles. All right, so again, angles that are next to each other and add up to 180 degrees. All right, 
Well, let's see. These two angles right here looks like they add up to 165, so that's not it. Okay, uh, well, if you notice, we have a straight line right here, right? KSN. So one thing that stands out is that this angle right here, this 49, and this angle right here are supplementary angles. Okay, so again, that just means these two angles right here should add up to 180 degrees, right? So what should this angle be right here? Well, to figure that out, we would just have to do 180 degrees minus 49. 49 degrees, and that's equal to 131 degrees, right? So this angle right here is equal to 131 degrees, right? So name a pair of adjacent supplementary angles. Well, in this case, we could do these two angles right here, right? So NSP, so angle NSP, and this other angle PSK, right? So angle P, S, K. Those are adjacent supplementary angles, right? Now, this one says name a pair of non-adjacent complementary angles. Okay, so in this case, we're looking for angles that are not next to each other, but they add up to 90 degrees. Okay, so this one's a little tricky, but the two angles would be this one right here, 41, and this angle over here, 49, right? Because 41 plus 49 is equal to 90, right? So two angles that are not next to each other, but they add up to 90 degrees, would be FGE, right? So angle FGE, and this other angle over here, NSP, right? So angle NSP, okay? Now this last one says, name a pair of non-adjacent supplementary angles, all right? So in this case, again, we're looking for angles that are not next to each other, and they also have to add up to 180 degrees. Okay, so here it would be these two angles right here. Okay, this 124, and also this 56 right here. Okay, those two angles, right? So we'll just write it right here. 124 plus 56 is equal to 180 degrees, okay? So it'd be angle FGH, right? Angle FGH and angle LSM, right? LSM, all right? So hopefully those weren't too bad. Let's try one last example. All right, so here's the last example and this is the figure that we're gonna be referring to. All right, so this one says, identify the linear pairs or pair that includes angle one. Okay, so angle one is right here. All right, so remember, Linear pairs are two angles that are next to each other and are supplementary, right? Or in other words, they add up to 180 degrees, right? So those always occur where there's straight lines. Okay, so here, right, here's angle one. So we can see one and five would be a linear pair, right? Because these two angles are next to each other and they are supplementary, right? These, this whole thing adds up to 180 degrees. Okay, so here we could say that angle one and angle five are linear pairs, or a linear pair, okay? Do we have any other linear pairs here? Could you say that one is a linear pair with angle two and three? No, because we're talking about pairs, right? Pairs come in two. This would basically be a triplet. So one, two, and three, those are three different angles, right? That's not a pair. Even though these three right here do add up to 180 degrees, again, they're not a pair, okay? So let's go to the next one. So it says, identify the linear pairs or pair that includes angle seven. All right, so here's angle seven. Okay, so in this case, the linear pairs would be seven and eight, right? They're next to each other and they form this straight angle, right? 180 degrees and seven and six are also linear pairs, right? Because these are next to each other and they also form this straight angle, right? These are supplementary angles. Okay, so angle six and angle seven are a linear pair, and angle eight and angle seven are also a linear pair. All right, next one. So it says, are angle five and angle three linear pairs? Okay, so here's angle five, here's angle three. Are these next to each other? No, they don't even form, a, they're not even supplementary angles, right? They're not along a straight line or anything like that. So these are definitely not linear pairs, okay? Now, this one says, are angle six and angle eight vertical angles? 
Okay, remember, vertical angles, another way to think about them is by calling them opposite angles. Opposite. Okay, so 6 and 8. So here we have 6, here we have 8, and they're formed by the same two straight lines right here, right? So are these opposite angles? Yes, they are. Which again means they're congruent angles. Okay, next one. Are angle 2 and angle 5 vertical angles? All right, so let's see. Angle 5, angle 2. Okay, are these vertical angles? Are they opposite angles? No, they're not. Okay, so a couple things you can see are angle 5. This is a big obtuse angle, right? Angle 2 over here is an acute angle. It's a smaller angle, okay? So again, these are not the same angle. They are not congruent. The other thing is they're not formed by the same two intersecting lines, right? These two intersect to make number 5. But as you can see, number 2 over here, it's made by this straight line, but it's also made by this other straight line that has nothing to do with the number 5 over here, or angle 5. All right, so are angle 2 and angle 5 vertical angles? No sorry, Bob. So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any other questions or want to see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below. Also, there's a couple playlists attached that I think you'll find helpful. So definitely check those out, and I'll see you there.